Hi, it's Rebecca Logan here. I just got back from a week on the west coast of Canada. And while I was away, two inky things happened. First of all, an order I had placed before leaving from Van Ness Pens in the States arrived. Thank goodness our cat sitter was able to bring it in out of the cold. And also I went to a lovely little stationery store in downtown Victoria called The Papery and picked up a couple of inks there too. So today I'm swatching for you. I've already done the writing out of the ink name and manufacturer because that takes a long time and yeah, you don't need to see that. That just takes time, especially since today I'm doing it on two papers. This is Cosmo Air Light. This side is Tomway River paper. So you'll notice the larger grid pattern on the Cosmo Air Light and the smaller grid pattern on the Tomoe River paper. So my writing is slightly different on them. But today I have seven, nine, eleven inks to swatch for you. So let's get started. This is a Pannonia ink from Hungary and it is Velvet Champagne. I bought a sample of this. You've probably seen it in one of my pens before. And I loved the sample so much that I immediately ordered a bottle. So once again, I'm using the back end of my James Finnis Serendipity pen just to place ink down on the paper because I cannot be arsed to clean a paintbrush in between every ink. It just takes too long. This way I can just quickly dry wipe or add water, it doesn't matter. But the end of my serendipity makes the perfect brush. That's the Pannonia Velvet Champagne. Next, we have an Inkabara ink. Uh, I've got a few new to me companies today. Inkabara is new to me. And this is number 425 Coral. Um, I'm still in search of the perfect coral. Because coral inks please me. And I still haven't found the perfect one. So working on it. Buying everything coral. And I just got coral all over my thumb. Of course I did. Next up is an ink by IWI. It's a color of nature ink and it's called Spring Equinox. Now I've read some bad reviews about this online. Apparently it feathers like crazy. It's very thin. You can see right through it. It's part of my search for the perfect coral. This is more of a neon orange than a coral, but it is very pretty. And we'll see if it feathers. I haven't noticed any feathering yet on either Tomoe River or Cosmo Air Light. So it's possible I got a newer formulation and that the feathering problem has somehow been taken care of. Come on, little buddy. Yes, I talk to my inks. I talk to everything. I have a dog. Once you have a dog or cats, a cat, you end up talking to everything that doesn't talk back. It's just fun. Another new to me ink company, Waringal. And this is the one I was most highly anticipating. This is called Potato of Spring. So that delights me to no end. It's a potato ink. It's potato. That is a Stephen Colbert reference. Got a bubble. 
is potato. Potato of spring. It is a beautiful color that can really only be described as potato. It looks like potato skin, which again, makes me happy. <laughs> I've tried to put the inks I ordered in uh, a range by color. Uh, you'll notice I very much had a theme going for me when I was ordering these inks. I chose corally colors and earthy colors. The next one is another one by Inkabara, and it is called Earth, number 246, Earth. Come out of here, cat hair. There you are. Even when they're not around, they have an influence. Neither of the cats are upstairs with me. They're downstairs with my husband, soaking up his love because we were away for a week and they missed us. The dog showed that she missed us. The cats are more subtle about it, but they're being quite clingy to, to my husband. Next up is by Colorverse. It's from their Kingdom series. It's the first I've got in their Kingdom series, and it's called Tap Young Young Day. I'm sure I am butchering that pronunciation and I am very sorry. But that's about as good as I go. Oops. Tap Young young day yeah good enough it is a beautiful soft golden green with very nice shading uh, above it earth by Inkabara is an interesting color it's an earthy color but it has notes of golden green in it so quite interesting You'll notice the inks are taking longer to dry on the Cosmo Airlight paper than on the Tomoe River. Tomoe River has a reputation for taking long time to dry, but Cosmo Airlight takes longer in my ex in my experience. So next up, another Inkabara ink, number one forty one, brown gray. get what the name suggests a brownish gray or a grayish brown no it's a brownish gray nothing fancy no sparkles or anything like that just a brownish gray very nice i love taupe Okay, the next four inks are sparkle inks or shimmer inks, whatever you want to call them. The first is for the first two are by Venta. I have to use my special tool to open them. This is Venta Clouds of Grey or Pagtangi. And you'll notice the bottom is filled with shimmer particles, so I'm just going to shake this up. Get the shimmer out and about. I think you can see the shimmer there. It's a simple gray ink with gold shimmer particles. I was eyeing one a shimmer ink by um, Ferris Wheel Press called Glimmering Grage, 
which is literally a gray ink with gold shimmer particles. And it had not come out yet when I was buying these, so I couldn't pick it up at Van Ness. And I haven't found it anywhere else yet. So I bought Clouds of Gray by Vinta instead to get the same effect. Gray ink with gold sparkles. Because usually gray inks with shimmer have silver shimmer. It matches better. But I wanted the warmth. Oh, Vinta boxes. You are the bane of my existence. No, actually that's not true. That's our brown boxes. Next up, another Vinta ink. This one is called Sailfin Green. Sailfin is a lizard-like creature with a big sail-like fin on its back. And if you look this ink up, Vinta has done some absolutely gorgeous artwork of the sailfin in this ink. Here we go. A lovely light green with bright blue shimmer. So sailfin green. Now I've left a space because that's the end of my order from Van Ness. And next up is from my vacation, the inks I bought on vacation. While we were in vacation, uh, on vacation we spent a couple of days in Victoria and then a few more days on Salt Spring Island. Salt Spring is just off Vancouver Island and it is a truly magical place to go. Oh, this box. Truly, truly wonderful place to go, but it doesn't have um, any place that sells fountain pens or inks. So while we were in Victoria, I had to get my fix. I went to the papery. They had a reasonably good selection of fountain pens, including the most affordable Visconti Homo sapiens I'd ever seen, but I've heard such mixed things about their nibs that I did not buy it. Did not risk it. And honestly, I'm saving my pennies so that I can buy some more Leonardo pens that I have my eye on. By saving my pennies, I mean not blowing my wad while on vacation. Hopefully, because I didn't spend all of the money on vacation, I will be able to buy all of the pens now. We will see. So that is Ferris Wheel Press Fairy Tales Collection Adventurine. Adorable little 20 milliliter glass bottles with that big metal hex bolt on top. The boxes have this, I don't know if you can see, oh, there we go. Down in the bottom, there's a place to wedge your bottle, but it's a very tight wedge. Once you get in there, she be tight. And it is a bit of a beast to get the ink bottle out from there. And my last new ink, my fourth shimmer ink is Ferris Wheel Press Blushing Mushroom, also from the papery. Again, with rose gold shimmer, just like Adventurine. So I have a gold shimmer, a blue shimmer, and two rose gold shimmers. hold on to any ink. Sometimes inks don't want to grab onto this pen. It is very, uh, very smooth surface, non-porous surface. Uh, not this ink, 
the inks don't want to grab onto the back end of this pen, is what I mean. Again, with the cuteness of the bottle and the pain in the arseness of the box. Clean paper. This one's cut just a tiny bit bigger and the bottle fits in nicer. And we'll go with the flaps and there we go, blushing mushroom. So we're still drying here. But you can really see the, the shimmer going on in the Vinta inks. It is in your face. The shimmer is almost glaring. In the Ferris wheel press inks, it's more subtle. That's on toe way. Let's look at it on Cosmo Airlight. Again, in your face shimmer with the Vinta inks, more subtle with the Ferris wheel press, but still beautiful. Gorgeous, very interesting. There's lots going on with this earth. Potato of spring, just continuing to delight me with its name alone. Uh, Velvet Champagne is a stunner. I have that in one of my uh, Leonardo pens right now uh, in a medium nib. Oh, I forgot to mention, all of these were done with a fine nib. So the fact that you can read these uns mostly unsaturated inks with a fine nib means they are very legible. For example, Potato of Spring here is a little light, but still readable from my distance, hopefully from your distance too. Uh, brown Gray, it lightens up a little as I ran out of ink in my dip pen. But yeah, legible. Even the Velvet Champagne, which should be the lightest, is very legible. Uh, Adventurine and Blushing Mushroom are unsaturated, very unsaturated. But again, legible in a fine nib. So yay. This is a Goulet fine nib. And my Serendipity pen. And I think I will switch it out to a broad stub when I do the ink entries. But you don't want to see that because that takes about 10 minutes a page and that would take forever. This is enough. You have seen my swatching. I hope you got something out of this, even if it was just watching someone play with color. That is sometimes a good thing. And enjoy the colors of your life. They're hard to find sometimes, or easy to ignore, but I find them really, really pleasant. Color is, color is life. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.